All right, good morning. We have had an active morning of severe thunderstorm warnings. We are going to walk you through that future cast, talk about what we're seeing on the radar right now. We're only seeing one severe thunderstorm warning, and that's off to the southeast. We have been here all morning. I'm meteorologist Colleen Peterson. And I'm meteorologist Sam Gabrielli. We've been watching a very active warning so far. Most of these thunderstorms have mainly been producing at times of quarter to at times half dollar size hail, maybe in a couple of instances, but we're mainly going to be talking about very heavy rain today, Colleen, mm -hmm. and uh, one or two storms might try and form a tornado, but it's going to be pretty tough to form a tornado. Yeah, today. we have not seen any tornado warnings. We have not even seen any rotation signatures, which shows that a tornado could possibly be out there. What we've really only seen is the hail and wind. So it's right. really a hail and wind event that we are seeing right now. So we're going to go ahead and take you on a tour around the radar. What we're seeing right now. Uh, here's a live view of the radar across Jefferson County, uh, all the way down to Grayson County. are really seeing these uh, strong to severe storms. Uh, so let's go ahead and start out in the metro area. We are not under a severe thunderstorm warning, just seeing the heavy downpours and the frequent lightning. But what has been interesting about this is we have been seeing um, some damaging winds also possible and some hail reported in this these areas yeah yeah we've seen some wind gusts today um with these warnings now no confirmed wind gusts we haven't seen actual reports of wind gusts yet but a lot of these warnings right doppler radar is estimating wind gusts up to 50 to 60 miles an hour and quarter size hail was the main uh threat and what was recorded with a lot of these storms we've also just been watching doppler radar estimating up to about one to two inches of rain in southern indiana that's where the heaviest rain has fallen so far today you can see at the time being as we are bringing you this live video uh, towards Corden and then again towards uh, maybe the southwest side of Louisville is where the heaviest rainfall is at the time being. But there's the warning that uh, Colleen's kind of zooming in on. It's just north of Bowling Green. Uh, this warning is making its way to the north and east. And keep in mind these times you see are central time uh, with this warning. So again, it's more towards 815 Eastern as these storms are making their way to the northeast. Uh, the main risk with this severe thunderstorm warning as it's on our far our southern fringe of our viewing area uh, toward Mumfordville and Litchfield. We're talking more about 60 mile hour wind gusts and quarter hail, but this storm's moving northeast at 70 miles an hour this morning. Yeah, so it's 70 miles per hour, meaning it's going to impact Hart County here in a little a while. So probably about, uh, well, let's go ahead and time it out together. I would guess about... Uh, 20 minutes heading that way, 75 miles per hour. Yeah, super quick. So maybe a little bit sooner than 20 minutes. Uh, so it will be impacting Wheeler's Mill and Munfordville um, at 7.21 a.m. Central Time, so 8.21 Eastern time. I don't Depending think I've seen storms move this quick before. Zone. Yeah, they can move pretty quickly here. Welcome to the south. Yeah, right. Welcome to the <laughs> south. Uh, yeah, these storms could pack some strong wind, some damaging wind, but it doesn't appear that we are seeing any areas um, of circulation out there, just seeing the heavy downpours. And I think that they did note hail is possible in these thunderstorms that we are tracking here this morning. Yeah, so it is going to be one of those deals, Colleen, where most of this activity, the nice thing is, should be kind of ending by early this afternoon as this whole system makes its way to the east with time. Uh, so much of the severe weather threat will be early in the day like we're dealing with now. It'll persist for the next few hours, so don't keep your guard down. Uh, we still have the watch that is in effect as well. Uh, that encompasses a lot of our viewing area. Yeah, so before we get to that watch, let's just go ahead and go over a wide view of the storms. This is going to continue throughout the morning. We still have a lot of storms out to the southwest. So storms are going to continue to trail this way towards the northeast. So this last batch of storms will continue to track from now until 10 o'clock. And then we can see a second batch from 10 a.m. until right around noon. So uh, we've seen a lot of reports. Let's walk through the reports. We have seen hail actually reported in Jefferson County from the Waffle House. Waffle House, you know, you're always on top of severe weather. Mm -hmm. You always stay open, hail, rain, or shine. Um, so hail reported from the Waffle House. I think that interesting report how it just shows the Waffle House. That's coming in and from Shively. Shively. Pleasure okay. Ridge Park, that area. Yeah. So this is where hail was reported. Um, I don't know what size hail. Um, it does not denote the size. Let me see if I... Oh, we got it. 0. 0.88 inches so was about reported. Nickel size. It's yeah, nickel so size that was at... Doesn't show a time it was reported, but it, I believe it was at the beginning of right around 7 o'clock when that severe mm -hmm. storm was passing through. Yeah. Another report that we saw from Hale, also just out Oldham County, um, over Crestwood, 
Uh, this was, let's see how big this hail was, multiple reports on social media of one inch hail. So one inch hail was coming down over in Oldham County, Crestwood, just about 30 minutes ago. So these storms definitely have the capability of producing these strong to severe storms. Yeah. Um, so we're going to walk you through that future cast and then we have to cut out of this Facebook Live because we have to do an update on TV. So Sam is going yep. to talk about the watch and then the future cast. First off, this is the watch in effect until 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, be on alert and you know don't have your guard down. We're watching the potential for wind gusts up to 65 miles an hour. There could be some quarter to ping pong size hail reports, but very heavy okay. rain also looking likely. A new likely. severe thunderstorm A new warning, warning now issued for the Bardstown area e-town just south of shepherdsville this warning and alert tornado possible and does go until 8 15. uh this is something we're going to be watching very closely yeah like yeah. Colleen mentioned it looks like doppler radar is kind of uh, noticing that there might be kind of rotation in this storm so that's why there might be a tornado possible with the storms that tracks this way uh, to the northeast yeah so we're going to go ahead and end this facebook live just because we have a cut in so if you want any more information tune in to whas 11 we're going to go ahead and get the information on this latest um scan run because national weather service is saying a tornado is possible in the severe thunderstorm warning um so we're going to go ahead and end this uh if you have if you are curious tune into whas 11 stream download our app it's free stream on Roku and Apple TV or tune in on cable. So there's multiple ways to receive information, but if there is a tornado warning, we are going to go nonstop live on WHS. Exactly. So. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.